Getting a job today isn't very easy. You've got to have the right skill set, the right qualifications, and most importantly, and rather unfortunately, the right connections. Now, it takes some effort to get a job and it takes a lot to maintain it. So, why is it that we value a job by equating it with the money that it makes? I'm not saying the money isn't important, it is, but every job comes with hidden costs and that's what I'm going to be exploring today. Consider this, you devote a particular amount of time working, let's say about 10 hours in a day and your hourly wage is $15. That's pretty good, isn't it? But unfortunately, that's the theoretical amount of money that you're making. It might take you an hour commuting to and from work. The stress you experience might mean that you have to spend an hour decompressing by mindlessly watching TV to relax. Maybe you spend worrying about your problems for an hour late at night. And now if you calculate your hourly wages, you have to add all this time too. After all, you wouldn't be experiencing these problems if you didn't have this particular job. Along with the extra time, you also have to deal with the monetary costs of working. It takes money to buy nice work clothes, to buy lunch because you don't have time to make it for yourself in the morning, to pay other people to take care of your home because you don't have the energy to do it yourself. I think the point I'm trying to make here is fairly obvious now. Your real hourly wages are much often less than what you think they are. Your wage probably isn't $1.15, it's $1.10. Who you are is far greater than what you do for money and your true work is far greater than your paid employment. In terms of sheer hours spent, most of us are wedded to our jobs than our mates. In that case, it makes sense to pursue a job that you like and that allows you the freedom to explore your talents instead of a place that pays you less than advertised and causes more expenses. The best advice I got was to think about the cost of what I am buying, not in terms of money but in terms of the hours I spend working for that money. Do I really need to buy an iPhone worth weeks of my life? Isn't it better to buy a phone that costs me hours instead? I do not advocate not spending at all but I do advocate properly valuing necessities against frivolities. Every day you go to work, you trade your life force for money. So if you're spending it unconsciously on stuff that you don't need or that you aren't fully enjoying, you're effectively trading away some hours of your life for nothing in return. If you dream of doing other things with your life then staring at your monitor at work or even if you love your job but would do it differently if money weren't an issue, then you have to ask yourself one simple question, your money or your life?